Good morning friends. This early morning session is dedicated to class 10 literature and we are discussing some question answers of the lesson Wally. Yeah, this is a story which has a, I mean, direct lesson for all the readers. The question is, Dory is, is negation of the girl's dignity. Discuss with the reference to the story Wally. See, a girl is an individual. Every girl is an individual. Yeah, every girl is an individual in her own right. Equal opportunity in life can help her maintain this dignity and live an independent life. What is required for a girl to, I mean, live with dignity? We should provide the girls equal opportunity of education and prospect of life. We should never discriminate between a male gender and a female gender. And it is a, I mean, happy note that now the modern society looks at girls as an equal individual and they are coming up with all the flying colors in every walk of life. So equal opportunity can provide a girl and can help a girl become an independent and live with dignity. She is not a burdensome object to be given away with Dory or with Moni to, as a compensation. We should never allow Dory to come in between the girl's dignity and her future prospect. No, never. Thus, Dory negates the girl's dignity and self-respect. When Dory is a negation, so far as the girl's dignity is concerned, we should try to discourage giving Dory at the time of girl's marriage. The story Holly shows that in that this this has this has been shown in the story Holly in a dramatic manner. Wally is thought to be ugly and dumb by her parents. So they are willing to pay Dory to an old man uh, with a limb and get her married with that man. So um, that he marries that girl Wally. But Wally denies. She refuses to marry that man because he is greedy of money and he demands Dory. In the similar manner, a girl should behave when the situation is not praiseworthy or causes trouble to the dignity of a girl, to the right of a girl. Like any other male, a girl has equal right to decide and take a decision in her future. Um, so, social evil like Dory, which is accompanied with the girl's marriage must be completely boycotted. We should never accept at any cost to, I mean, give Dory or to accept Dory at the time of a girl's marriage. And girls have all the rights to say no to the person who demands, uh, you know, Dory to prove his masculinity. If a male at the time of marriage demands Dory from a girl's parent, I, the girl has every right to denounce and reject the offer and say no. Then only the evils like Dory can be rooted out from the society. You know, in the same manner, we all the girls should, I mean, come forward. And the basic thing is that girls must be educated. This is the reason why Holi decides to serve the society by being a teacher of the village school and she even serves her parents and decides not to marry that greedy old man who only wants to marry her just for Dory. So leaving all the, I mean, consideration, she decides to serve the society by being a teacher of the village school. And this shows that if a girl has a willpower, she can survive even without marriage. Well, marriage is a social obligation. Every girl has to get married some day or the other. But it doesn't mean that a girl cannot survive without marriage. She has every right to express herself. She has freedom of expression. And the basic thing is that once the girls are educated, the evils like Dory 
can be rooted out from the society and that is what has been shown in this story you know Wally one two more questions short questions what what filled Wally's dumb cow with a new hope in her yeah Wally first day of his school you know brought a hope of a new life she had found a loving and kind teacher the teacher had inspired her and given her a book and had made Wally feel confident that is the that is the reason why she loved to go to school in what way did the village change over time the village had changed in the course of time though it was a very small village the primary school had become a high school the village had a cinema hall also a cotton grinding mill the uh, you know the mail train also stops at the village railway station so that is how that village in which Wally lived has changed over the passage of time and this is the last question mm, yeah why did uh, Bishambar's marriage with Wally not take place Bishambar's marriage with Wally did not take place because he had demanded a dowry of 5000 rupees from Wally's father and for that marriage Wally refused to marry that man that greedy old man saying that she would better remain unmarried than I mean complying to his demand of dowry so a girl like Wally should come forward and stand against this social evil dowry then only the society will witness a change and the girls will be you know empowering we have seen a radical change in the years in the last decade girls are coming up in every walk of life they are well educated they are well aware and they understand that empowering themselves can empower the society and that is the reason why this story has been written it is an inspiration for all the girls that if education is being given to the girls they can be empowered and they can voice their I mean concern against any sort of evil such as Dory that is what I wanted to emphasize upon thank you very much have a nice day ahead